Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'd like to show you an overview of some of the navigation tools you have to work with when you're building websites with 90 Second Website Builder. Over here in the toolbox, you'll see a category called navigation and under it, several options or several tools for you to work with. We'll start with the CSS menu. This is actually my favorite. And the reason being is because anytime you can use CSS when you're designing your website, you're doing yourself a favor because CSS is the kind of code that allows you to create great graphical user interfaces, but still have a fast loading web page and that's good for everybody. The CSS menu is simple to use, just like anything else. You drag a box or draw a box out onto the canvas and you create a CSS menu. Editing it is also simple. You double click on it to open it up. And in the first window you see here, you'll see a list of four buttons. These are buttons for you to edit. Of course, you don't have to have four. You can have fewer or you can have more. You can add buttons here and remove buttons here. And of course, edit them. When you click on a button and you click the edit, you just change the way it's gonna look, what it's gonna say anyway, and what it links to or where it links to is all set up here. Now the CSS menu allows you to create sub menus as well. So if you're going to add buttons, you can actually add buttons underneath other buttons. I'll show you what I mean. Since I've selected button two and I click the add, I am clicking a button called, let's just call it item one for now. You'll see that it actually goes under the button two because it actually ends up being a sub menu under this button. The style tab allows you to decide what the navigation buttons and menu are gonna look like. So this part up here is the main menu. So you can change the layout out of whether it's horizontal, vertical, or responsive, whether the alignment's left, center, or right, etc. All of this is pertaining to the layout of the main menu. Now down at the bottom of this window, you'll see a preview of what you're working with. This part up here, this is folder item one, item two. This is the main menu. And then these items down here are a preview of the sub menu, which is designed over here. So you can change the layout of these menus. You can choose their border colors, how transparent they are, the border width, the radius, what color the border should be, images if you want to use them, if there's gonna be shadow, and of course the style and look of the text. Again, all of this pertains to the main menu part of it and all of this pertains to the submenu part of it. And as you're making these changes, you can preview it down here. So if I change the text to the main menu to say something like 18 points, you can see down here how it has changed and I can preview that. If I change the colors, I would see all of that here. But rather than go into all of the possible variations, because you can see there's probably a thousand or more, it's better for me to show you one that I'm working on. I'm going to cancel out of this and I'll even delete this demonstration and go right up here to the CSS menu that I'm working on for this website. Let me double click on it and I'll show you what I've done. I've created some menu items and some sub menu items that look like this. If you go to the style tab, you can see that I've chosen some black backgrounds and some gray hovering colors that will all preview here. All of that is done by simply changing the settings under these tabs. And that's basically how the CSS menu works. It's one I highly recommend you learn how to use. The next one down is called the Go menu. Very simple to do. You just simply drag a box out here. And what happens here is you're able to create sort of a pull down menu list for your visitors. You can add multiple menu options. So you would put some text here and you can put some alt text if you want. You create a link to whatever this is going to link to. Let's say we're gonna link this one to here. Click OK. And we can add more if we want to and link this to some other website or even to a page in the uh, website project if I wanted to. When the user clicks on this, they'll be able to select a link to go to. I'm gonna click F5 so we can preview this, show you what it looks like. Here's what a Go menu does. Basically, it allows the user to go to a pull down and select whatever the text was that you put in here. And if they click the Go button, it would actually go to that website. Here we have the option to add pretty much as many links as you want to and for this menu to say whatever you want it to say. So for example, you can decide what the initial text looks like. Remember, it says select a link. You can change that and even decide what the button's going to say. Or you can eliminate the button altogether by clicking this box. So all they need to do is pull down to your text and they'll go directly to that link. And of course, you can change the look at it here in the style. That gives you an idea anyway of how to use the Go menu. Very simple and easy to use. The Mega menu is really, really cool. It's a great tool for a very complex menu system. So I'm gonna draw a Mega menu out here. And one of the first things I wanna to talk to you about is some of these items will pick up their look or their layout from what's called the jQuery theme. Remember, every page has a theme, a jQuery theme, which you can set in the page properties. Now, there's a video just about that, so I don't want to go into detail on that, but basically, the Mega Menu is one such object. It picks up its look from whatever the page's jQuery theme is. So right now, this Mega Menu is going to look this way because the jQuery theme is this particular one called Cupertino. Let's double-click on the Mega Menu. 
And aside from that, let me show you the many, many things you can do with this. So again, we have some starting buttons that are just samples. The styles that we choose for these and how they look will be here. The font, how it animates when it opens, if there's going to be a fade or not. The padding around the buttons, the submenus, the links, how everything looks is set here. Easy enough. But the other thing that's really important is for you to see when you edit these buttons, which I'm going to do right here, you actually have a choice of menu layout. Button number one, for example, is using the columns only option. And you can see there are several others. And we can decide what these columns say. In this demo, they happen to be called Category 1 and 90 Second Website Builder. All of this, obviously, is editable, which we would do just by simply clicking on these and clicking the Edit. We can decide what they say and what they link to and what these categories are called. In this demonstration, button number 2, let me click on Edit, is demonstrating the rows only menu layout. As you can see, there are several others. And then the third button is going to demo the two column layout. Okay, So now that you know that, let's do a quick preview of this and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm clicking F5 and in fact I'm going to move the camera down because this menu is kind of big. And what happens when we hover over this, you can see what, what the effect is. Let's move this over more into the camera like this. If I hover over this, you can see what's happening. This demonstrates this particular layout with these categories this way. Each one of these would be its own link. So you can see why they call it a mega menu. Remember button number two did this sort of single column thing, and then this one did these two columns. And there are a number of other layouts that you can use. I'm just demonstrating three of them. But anyway, the mega menu allows you to create a really complex style of navigation, which is pretty convenient. Let's go back up here. And let's look at another navigation. This one's called the menu bar. Very similar to the CSS menu, except it's a little bit um, more complex, actually. If you double click on the menu bar, it gives you a starting menu layout that you can edit and change, obviously. The menu bar is great if you're going to have sub menus and sub sub menus and sort of a hierarchy of menu system. I highly recommend using that if you're going to have a lot of pages under pages or links under links. And of course, you can style it over here and adjust the style of just about any attribute from the text to the borders to how it underlines everything about the, the look of a, of a menu bar can be adjusted here. In addition to that, there are some pre-designed themes for the menu bar. So this makes this very simple. If you wanted an Office 2000 sort of look, you can simply select that theme and preview what it would look like here. Choose another one. Here's this theme sky, and you have these pre-built themes. So this is a very fast way to build a complex menu without having to do a lot of design work if you just want to pick one of the themes here. Or you can make your own theme by using a user-defined theme and creating it here. And that's basically how the menu bar works. The next one down the list is the navigation bar, probably the simplest one to use, and the one that people seem to gravitate toward first when they start using 90 Second Website Builder. The navigation bar is simple because there's not a hierarchy. It's just a single kind of a menu. It's either vertical or horizontal. Right now it's set at vertical. If we change it to horizontal and we click OK, here we go, the horizontal direction. The thing about the navigation bar is it is based on images, so it's a little bit slower to load. However, if you're just making a simple navigation bar that doesn't need a lot of submenus and hierarchy, it's very easy to work with. And again, you can set the style. And there are some built-in images that you can choose. You can just select one of these. All of those things are set here and previewed down here. You can also choose, again, to use the Pages jQuery theme instead. If you select this, it'll override any of your changes. And the navigation bar will simply use whatever the jQuery theme is for this page. Again, very simple to use. Just follow these directions and play with this, and you can see that you can make a simple navigation bar with that. I'm going to delete that and move on to the next one. The panel menu is great. It's brand new in version 10, and it does a wonderful thing for your website design. Here's what a panel menu looks like. I draw a box, and for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it called panel menu. Let me double click on this and show you what happens. It starts us off with some demonstration links. We'll just leave them as they are. And the options for these links is what the text is going to say. Right now it says panel menu. We'll leave it at that. How I want this panel menu to appear will be set here. I'm going to have it push, not overlay, and I'll show you the difference here. Dismissible, that means we can make it go away. And from what side we want it to appear. How it comes in, whether it slides or not, and how fast that happens. Now let me show you what this looks like. It's really fascinating. I'm going to click F5. 
And a panel menu allows us to actually click a button right here, where it says panel menu, and watch what happens. Our menu bar, or our navigation bar, I should say, comes in from the side. In fact, it came in from the left. You'll remember I told it to do that simply by clicking this button. Remember, I made it dismissible so I can click the button again and make it go away. Now, you'll notice that when I click on it and it comes in, it actually pushes the website over as it appears. Notice that my content is being pushed over. Let's change that so I can show you what the other option was. If I double click on panel menu, go to the options, instead of push, if we say overlay, make this slight change, I'll click OK. I'm pressing F5 to preview this. Instead of pushing the content out of the way, it will actually go over on top of the content, which is also another great option. But again, it's dismissible, so by clicking this button, I can make that appear. Now, obviously, I would change this to say something besides panel menu. I might say click here to navigate or whatever you want it to say. But the point is, this is how you control how the panel menu appears and disappears from your web page. A great new feature in version 10 of 90 Second Website Builder. We also have the site tree. The site tree is something that allows you to create sort of a site map for your user. Now, rather than give you a demonstration of one on this page, I actually put a site tree on one of the pages in this project. I'm going to open it up here, go to that page. I actually put a site tree on this page. This is the site tree navigation tool. And what it does is it basically picks up the pages and its structure from the site manager. If I was to move the camera over here so you could see the site manager, this is actually the structure of the site tree. You'll see that they match because this is where it gets its look. You'll notice something about this site tree. I'm going to move it over here so you can see it a little bit better next to the site manager. You'll notice that it picked up the word home for the index file. It picked up episodes with a capital E for episodes.html. And you'll notice it calls this one latest episodes, not just latest. And yet it's getting its data from the site manager. So how does it know to have these friendly names? Well, here's why. Each one of these pages actually has a menu name in the page properties. I'll show you what I mean. If we go to the back to the index page and I click on page properties, you may remember this from another video. The menu name for this page is actually home, whereas the file name is still index. The menu name is home. So let me cancel out of this, go back to that site menu. So the site tree tool is actually picking up the structure of the website from the site manager, but picking its names from every page's menu name. So that's really important to know. If you're going to use that particular tool, you're going to want to know how to adjust the menu name in the page property. And again, I talked about that in another video, so this is a little bit redundant, but this gives you a good idea of how the site tree works. Slide menu is also a great navigation tool. Gives you a lot of options. Basically, it starts you off with these categories and items. If you double click, it works the same as the other ones we've talked about. You can basically edit anything that you want. You can change the style of what they look like. And now in version 10, you can actually add images to your slide menu if you want to. They're, they would appear as little icons next to the words here if you choose to do that. I'll preview this to show you kind of what that looks like. If you set your slide menu to do this, it basically works like little folders and categories. And you'll see that it just kind of pops. You can change the way it opens by changing how it animates. So if we double click here and go to the style and decide that we want it to open up a little bit differently, we just adjust the animation to be slide or fade. We can also, again, use the jQuery theme of the page if we want to. Let's do that just to see. You can see it picks up the jQuery theme for this page. And I changed the animation to be more of a slide. So when we click on this, you can see that it has a slightly smoother effect as it slides. Let's move on. We have a couple more here. The tab menu is another great navigation tool, great for putting on top of your page to make it look like sort of file tabs. So you could put your navigation object on top of something else and create a file folder kind of an effect. There's a lot of things you can do with the tab menu. And again, the settings are pretty much the same. This is where you would add and edit your menu objects. The style again is set here and you can decide what it looks like how it appears if you're going to use a theme. There are some built-in themes that you can use, preset themes. Again, a very easy tool to use. And finally, let's go to the text menu. This is one that I use quite often, a very simple navigation object. And I'm going to double click on it here just to show you. Again, everything looks pretty much the same here. Here's where you would edit what the links say and where they link. The style is very simple because it's just text. So you decide what font you're going to use, uh, what kind of background, the link style, the size of it, the format, 
if it's going to be centered. If you're going to use delimiters, that means the separators in between these words, then you would do all that here. Basically, I use this a lot for simple navigation, especially at the bottom of a web page. If you go down to the bottom of this page, you can see that I've created a really simple navigation menu here. This is, in fact, a text menu. I know this is a long video, but it gives you an overview of the many, many navigation tools that you can work with under the navigation section here in the toolbox of 90 Second Website Builder.